Hello. Some of you may have seen me talk about this, how a digital twin can be shared with the RAC, the Retail Application Center. They have Perforex, LaserX, NC drilling machines that can perfectly drill to whatever you did in ePlan. So let's take a look. In ePlan, of course, we do these designs. These designs are at one point in time from the customer sent over to here to eManage. So they are uploaded to eManage. And finally, when they are uploaded onto eManage, we share the project to our Retail colleagues by simply taking the project, going into the details of the projects here, and by sharing this to an external user I call RAC at Retail.ca. Of course, when I add this here, they get a message on their side that a project is ready for them to download. They then download the project, open the project, and can see exactly your project. So they basically see this project or all the different layouts that you created. We usually show also to most of our users to use here the structure identifier to identify a specific location. This location will serve us in differentiating one layout from another layout. So here I call this layout A1 plus A1. They don't have to necessarily match, but the location designation is nice when it changes from one panel to the other, because as you know, most of you probably do this, you probably already generate here among the different views, the 2D drilling view. Based on a very simple macro, a page macro, which pretty much just defines where the drilling view will be and where the cutout legend will be, you can generate overall for all surfaces one single page for each location because the page sorting here is by location designation. So the result is under this section here for the A1, I basically have two surfaces, one on the side that I have to drill and the other one here for the back plate. Now, of course, the result that you see here, right, is something that I want to transfer automatically onto the machine. I don't want to have any kind of editing in between. But as you know, the machine only takes as many tools as it can take. So technically, when I go here under export machining and I take the Rital Perforex BC, you can see here I have the Retail, Retail Canada tool set. This tool set that is here is and can change over time because we may change a tap, add another tap, add another drill bit. This is something you have to ask the Retail Canada people. They will send you an XML file which can be directly imported here. And when you import this file, well, the tools should be updated. And what ePlan does, it of course takes the best available hole tap that is there. Now, there is a certain rule where if, of course, the drill bit or the tool is there, it takes it. And that says 25 or 20 cutouts are exported exactly. But 24 other cutouts are exported as an alternative, okay? If you want to see these details, you see the message management, which means you just go here to the um, to the tools messages, and there you can see in the message management. This is technically a page. I personally prefer actually keeping it, you know, like on the full page. But if you have a little bit more, you can see here all the different elements that actually had a specific drilled hole or a tap that was actually then changed for something else. So here you can see that the drill hole was actually um, a D4.5. The next drill hole we have is a D5. So it actually switched, went a little bit bigger. Now it's up to you to decide if you need and can accept this. Most likely, yes because you can see it's usually just a 0.5 millimeter difference. So that is more than acceptable. 
And of course, if there is a tap that is not available, then you have to talk with the retail people if it's possible to get that tap or not, or to accept a different type of uh, screw. Okay, this is something that you have to see because the information is what you got and most likely it will work as is and this is what it will uh, generate. Okay, now for all of us, any one of us, remember the trick was, and it's a simple trick, you just run here directly the export with the proper tools, the tools that are on the machine. Make sure you have the updated file. That means with the updated tools. And you will see these results here. And it tells you I have basically two cutouts. I have 20 holes that are perfect, 24 that have an alternative hole, and the messages can be seen on the tools, message management, and you can even double click on each of them and they will actually bring you right down to the specific object and you accept it or you do not accept it. You have to see, um, we only have so many tools we can actually put on the Perforex and the rule set as we can see here, it always goes to the next higher or bigger uh, tool. Now, if you want to drill in and see what are my alternatives, well, you can always go back and look at the different tool sets and adjust your drilling pattern, manufacturing pattern accordingly, right? So here you can see the tool sets, you can see the different uh, drill bits, you can see the sizes for every single uh, drill that we have. Do not worry about the numbers here. There's something you cannot or you should not change, but it's actually a display of what is really available right now on the machine. So you can see we have a lot of these tools. We have 20 tools right now in line uh, in this particular uh, fashion. I have to see with Jonas if this is up to date, but this is what we have and this is what we can drill or tap, right? So accordingly, it's always gonna go for the next bigger one. So if we actually focus on the 5.5 millimeter, right? We do have a 5.5 and we do have here another 5.5. 0.11, which is a little bit different. Uh, we have an M5 tap. So here, of course, if you're looking anything in between and above 4.5, as soon as you hit 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 5.0, it's going to jump to either or one of these two, right? which makes sense because it always jumps to the next bigger one available. Thank you. This was Roland from ePlan, and I hope this will help you I have the perfect drill pattern so that we can process instantaneously onto the machine exactly as expected. Thank you for listening. And yeah, if you like the videos I do, please subscribe down there. Give me some ideas of other videos that you'd like to see. We'll see what we can do, if we can help you otherwise. Thank you. This was Roland from 